friends. Happy Monday. I hope you're having a good one. I am just working on the finishing touches of my uh, Flourish Retreat workbook. And so to do that, I've been going over what I'm speaking about to see, um, you know, if there's anything I need to add, anything I need to polish up. And I just, there was so much good stuff in here and I really wanted to share it with you. Um, and I thought, well, maybe they'll let me practice on them. So, um, I would love to hear what you guys think. Um, if it was helpful, um, if you find this to be true. And so without further ado, I'm going to read a little bit here because I don't have it memorized. So to flourish, we have to be open to pruning. We cannot expect to skate through this life without experiencing pain. It just doesn't work that way. I have learned that when you let God in and open yourself up to the way he sees, he uses your pain for good. Whether we realize it or not, we, the pain we experience is always meant for good. So today I want to encourage you to embrace the pain and seek the good. When friends hurt you, seek God's goodness. When your job environment gets uncomfortable, seek God's goodness. When you're tired and have no energy, seek God's goodness. When you're depressed, seek God's goodness. When you're anxious and wound up, seek God's goodness. When you're hungry, seek God's goodness. In all things, seek God's goodness. God is complex. He is a God of wrath, of justice, of jealousy. So our thoughts on him can become quite confusing. So it's important to look at his story for us as a whole. Sure, there are a lot of rules and wars and crazy things that I don't even understand still. But the big picture message is I love you and I want to talk with you. I want to walk with you. In the creation story with Adam and Eve, God models this attitude. I want to walk with you in paradise, but I want to make sure you want me too. So I'll test you with this tree. Fail. <laughs> but God redeems. Noah, God says this world is wicked. Let me wash it clean. I will love you with a promise. God saves those who believe. Noah and his family were saved because they believed in God and followed his instructions. Obedience to God is so important and it's very powerful. When we obey, we cultivate trust and faith. I believe God receives our love for him when we trust and act in faith. He sees us and says, they listened. They trust me. They did it. They believed I would see them through without knowing the outcome and they did it. Abraham, I choose you and I will make and keep rich and lavish promises with you and your descendants just to show you my love and how good I am. Now, I have more examples to share with you, but I will leave that for the retreat. Um, what I wanted to leave with you today is an affirmation that you can try. Um, and it's so simple. You just say, this is good, right? So, for example, you're stuck in traffic. This is good. This is good, right? Um, and this really does help to, one, remind you of the truth that all things work together for good to those who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose, right? Romans 8, 28. It doesn't mean that things always feel good or that they even look good, but it reminds you of the truth that God is good. And if you are his child, if you are abiding with him, then you don't have to worry. You don't, you can trust that whatever you're going through is for the good of the kingdom. Um, Another one you might use and already know is God is good all the time, right? Again, these help us not just to root back in the truth and like, okay, abide in the truth and know, okay, God's good. I don't really understand what's going on here, but I believe God is good and will use this for good. But also it does help you to shift in that moment. Um, helps you to shift out of yourself and into the purpose of God. So it's taking the, why is this happening to me? You know, why am I having to go through this to God is good. And you know what? I'm going to keep moving forward. 
I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to stress out about it. Um, I am going to say, God, you know, I don't like this right now, but I trust you. Show me what's next, you know? And so um, that's what I want to encourage you with today. I hope it was helpful. Um, and if it was, I would love to know. <laughs> um, or maybe something was awoken inside you. Maybe there's something you didn't realize and um, encouraged you. I would love to know that as well. So I hope you have a very, very happy Monday and I'll see you later.